this is, I've been working on this computer for a little bit. We've determined that underneath here, there is a USB controller chip that, that has gone bad. So I've ordered a replacement chip, but I wanna get the customer back up and running. So like, we're also going to, we're just gonna go ahead and swap it out with this. Because if it's something like that's at board level, then even me replacing that chip isn't going to necessarily fix the issue if it's part of the the actual physical one of the layers is the problem so better safe than sorry we're going to swap out our motherboard um we're going from a b560 to a b560 i think the only thing that we're going to be losing on this is wi-fi but i can um i can actually probably swap that wi-fi over mm. I have to look. Maybe I don't. I don't actually know off the top of my head. Anyways, regardless, we're gonna get this pulled apart. We're gonna get the stuff moved over to this. Flash everything. Make sure it works, and then get the customer out of here. And then at a later point, I'll come once the the actual chip comes in. I will be able to uh, get like just try it because it's a it's a it's an eleventh gen processor in here, and I have a tenth gen processor sitting on my back desk. So we should be able to test it. So let's get into the let's get into the teardown. Yeah. Easy peasy. Normally there'd be a lot more screws. And when we put this back in here, there's gonna be a bunch more screws. thing I had to check. Yeah, there, there's an M.2 in this old one. Let's get that out of here. Actually, let's get this installed first. Let me, let me do this in a, in a somewhat meaningful order. So we got the old one out. It is a little bit, it's a full-size board, so we're going to be a little bit tighter on space. Yeah, so that'll work fine. Make sure you put your back plate in. One of the things I always like doing is if you have the, um, this is the ethernet port here on this plate. If it has one of the ground, like little things on the top, the little feet, making sure that it's 100% out of the way. Otherwise you go to put it in and you have to take the whole computer apart again because for some odd reason it didn't like sit in there correctly. to make sure everything is lined up. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did before. We're gonna put a single screw in this. You can see how tight this is gonna be, like getting this in here. Because now these cables that were at the bottom before are literally like pushed in such a place that there's not, like it's gonna be real tight getting that out of there. Just put it like that. All right, we're gonna check the back, make sure so like that port needs to be fixed. Let's see if I can just bend this enough. Zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. This is the bane of every PC builder's existence here is like, is this guy. So you wouldn't be able to actually plug anything into that port. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push. And we're gonna lift that out of the way. Same thing happened with the HDMI port. and the display port. So we're just gonna bend those out of the way, make sure everything is actually out of the way, and you can actively plug stuff into all of them. One downside for her, she's going from a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USB ports, one, two, three, four, five, six USB ports, though we are getting a type C, oh, this one had a type C. So one, two, three, four, five, six. She's losing one USB port overall on this. 
Which, you know, not the best. Now we're going to remove the processor. The processor moved over. Put it down, pop it out, put it down. So we're going to take the M2 out. And go underneath there, PCI 4. There we go. Just reuse what was there. And of course, on the bottom of this, we need to remove remove the tape. Yeah, it's crazy. Like if, if I told you that these two boards are from the same manufacturer, from the same generation, like it's hard to believe seeing as like what they physically come with is actually so different. And like the perceived quality of the board is so different. All right, so let's set this off to the side. Ooh, I actually need to take this bracket off of here. Can I access the back of this? Yes, I can. So we got to make sure we put this bracket on here so that we have a way to install the cooler. Just line up our holes. And then we're going to need to... Um, got to put the rest of these screws in. Repaste the CPU. Oh, come on. The thermal paste dries into like concrete very quickly. you do what you just described, what you're actively doing is creating new threads. stuff is in exactly the same spot. All right. So, I uh, this is a th this case has something that's a little bit unique that I I like and dislike at the same time. Let me see if I can get a good view of it. Where is it? It's right here. So this screw that you see right here serves two purposes. One, it aggravates you when you want to remove the video card. But two, this rack that's built onto this video card helps prevent sag. And it's just something that's built into this. And it's actually kind of nice. Now it that top screw will not work, so we're just gonna have the bottom one. 
Thankfully, we got that at least. But yeah, overall, oops, that did not go in there, right? That should be it. All right, now this was originally over that. I'm gonna route this slightly differently. Go through the wire management slot that is down here. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, oh, this is one I just got done rebuilding it. We're gonna make sure resizable bar is on. Yep, we want that on. And then we're gonna make sure XMP is in. Oh, it's enable. It's disabled only. That's strange. This is also 3200. Let's see if um, let's see if this boots. Because if it boots, then we can call her up, get her out of here. She can pick this up. All right, I think I think we're good. So that was a quick little like half hour rebuild of this computer. Um, pulling the old motherboard. Like, we had a little bit of pre-work done, but, yeah, I think relatively straightforward. So, yeah, she's going to have to set her pin back up because it's a new motherboard. But, yeah, other than that, these, these fans are now being controlled by the motherboard, whereas before they weren't. So, I guess I'll just say thank you for watching. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you like more content like this, hit the subscribe button. I stream daily on Twitch from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, and 9 to 1 on Saturdays. So uh, stop by, hang out, and maybe later thing or two. Bye.